Hello, Speed Gaming, and welcome to Super Metroid Item Randomizer League Season 3. Today, we have a really exciting multi world teams match. Uh, we've got the green boomerang fan club on the left, and the order of the elephant on the right. I'm joined by Maniacal tonight. How are you, Maniacal? Hey, PBB. I am doing great. How are you doing today? Fantastic. Excited for this is their match two between these two teams. Mm -hmm. um, they had a very lovely, wonderful, uh, I think each one of them attempted Suitless Meridia in the seed, but lucky player two was the one who actually had to do it required. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was a really interesting game. I don't want to spoil too much what it was, but uh, the, the player 2 seed did have to go into Meridia and, and get Gravity Suit. So hopefully we don't see that happen again to to these fine folks. I, I wouldn't want that to have to happen twice. <laughs> exactly. We've got uh, Lenefus and Stump representing Green Boomerang Fan Club. And we've got Slow Guy and Thornado tonight. Um, doing the order of the elephant. Yeah, the the order of the elephant has has reordered who is getting to play. Um, very very interesting. Oh, you <laughs> see a Varia and a screw attack right out of the gate. And and player two is is getting rewarded from their their last match. Stump will be happy to have have gear as opposed to having to go to suit with Meridia. Player two is ready for lower Norfair. Need nothing else. Good to go. Yeah, I mean, screw attack and uh, now morph ball. I mean, could it be more free? <laughs> <laughs> no ammo though. I, I guess they need yeah. some of that. Aww. If they want to beat Ridley, they're gonna need they're gonna need some ammo. Hey, everyone picking up their morph ball. Slow guy. Um, not a misnomer here. <laughs> <laughs> the last one to pick up his morph ball at least four. But no, um, Slow Guy and Thornado on the right is a little bit of a mix-up from the first game. Um, Order of the Elephant lineup was Slow Guy and who was it in the, the uh, first Telemorph. one? Telemorph. Telemorph, that's right. I, I was trying to remember the third team member. I had looked at it and then I promptly forgot as soon as I opened my mouth. Maybe I'm the Slow Guy. But... Um, <laughs> Lenefis and Stump for uh, Green Boomerang Fan Club have, have kept it and they're running it back. They uh, were not victorious in the first game here, so so they want their revenge. Yep, and their third teammate is Metroid MST, our resident shy guy, sitting on the bench where he okay. belongs. He has his I'm own fan club, but he, he's not in it. It's very strange. It's very strange, I agree. All the runners are, are going up through the climb, so it looks like pretty standard routing, even though uh, for the player ones with supers and um, and power bombs, it was available to them to to take the direct to pink brin route that some folks like. But overall, I like this decision to go up the climb. I think it, it gets you pretty good item density and with multi-world, you just want to get through a lot of items. It's not like you're really going to get away with skipping all of Brinstar or anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> you're going to go eventually. We see Slow Guy heading for player one. Uh, first player one going to be headed into Bomb Teresa. We'll see what player one Bomb Teresa has. So this is a, a major minor um, randomizer. So is a major item location with space jump. It's a nice find. Something good for player one, finally. Yeah, they have an E-tank, but space jump, oh. definitely a, a good a good thing to have picked up. And we'll see, it looks like Slow Guy is headed toward the ship. So maybe we're gonna see a, a gauntlet check here with Five power bombs. Normally, you wouldn't go check gauntlet, but in multi world, uh, because you could reset and potentially find an item for your partner, and they wouldn't lose it, 
and you wouldn't have to get back out of Gauntlet, uh, it can be a, a good decision to check Gauntlet early. Yeah, and also, like, if you're kind of used to the logic from previous leagues, um, generally a suit could not be at Gauntlet, but now they can in this multi-world week. So, you know, you never know what you're going to find up here. Yeah, there's some, some real quirks and changes to sort of what we've had conventionally uh, with this multi-world. And every week in this league is going to be just a little bit different. I know next week is the Dash Randomizer, which has been featured in some tournaments. Um, this is the, the multi-world based off of Total's Randomizer. And in future weeks, we're going to see some, some really crazy stuff like some route randomizers. And I don't even know what else. Um, I'm kind of taking it week by week. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of different things going on. Uh, so, some Lenefus and Slow Guy are getting their own screw attack. So, screw attack, space jump combo for them. Uh, Stump and Tornado, Stump's about to find it. It's going to be an E tank for their partners. So, they can just grab it and reset. Yeah, and that's what we exactly what we saw Tornado do get back out. Looks like Stump is also going to reset. Maybe thinking about it. Maybe trying to find the reset button on his console. I'm not sure. It's hard to find. And, oh, Leno, going down the, the left side, the wrong side, unfortunately, of Gauntlet. Missing out on those super missiles. But thankfully, both players have super missiles already, so not too bad. Still no actual bombs for a player to... Um, screw attack will get you pretty far, but there are some things that you need either power bombs or bombs for, like the charge beam location, uh, wave gate, things like that. Yeah, definitely want to be on the lookout for that, although this being based off of, of Total's randomizer rather than something like the Varia randomizer, you're a lot more likely to just incidentally run into the, um, the power bombs that you need at some point, so if I'm one of the runners, I'm not super worried about it, but like that is definitely on my mind. However, um, no bombs, morph screw attack. Um, we, we have the option at the, the Ron Popel uh, missiles in, uh, in Brinstar Reserve. We'll see if any of the runners decide to employ that strat or if they know it. I love that strat. That's yeah. very neat. It's a really cool strat. I hope we get to see it. I know... Lenefis definitely should know it, um, just because I've heard him talk about it previously. I'm not sure about Stump. And it looks like Tornado has his power bombs now. So Stump probably about to get his too. They are up at the first supers, so Stump could still go for the screw attack thing. Do it, Stump, do it. Let's see. Oh, oh he's bailing. Stop. Stomp. Why? <laughs> oh, and regular bombs that I just found down here at the Anakins for, uh, for Stomp. Yeah. Right now, uh, you know, the team's kind of doing the same stuff. No, no major divergences, a few minor divergences. But it looks like at least on player two, we're, we're setting up to head down Red Tower with that various suit. For player one, I think we're going to see uh, Big Pink and the, the Majors coming up in this area be the big determining factor. Hey, um, now we're even more seriously ready for Lord North Fair on player two's side. We've got Charge. We've got bombs, our worst room of the game item. It'll be a good time. It'll be the best time. <laughs> let's let's go straight for lower Norfair. This is the ideal loadout. You could want <laughs> nothing more. No, I, I think we'll probably see our runners put that off for a little bit. There's a lot of intervening content between here and lower Norfair. Looks like Leno uh, wiggled his way forward just enough to get that wave gate glitch see what what he gets as his reward. Ooh, he doesn't even get it. 
doesn't. So I guess this this is his fault for him. Um, if he skips that reserve tank, and then it was his, and he needs to do Hellerons, it, this is his own doing. Oh, finding a lot of stuff on the right here. Somebody got a gravity suit. Uh. Yeah, I missed. <laughs> We're still getting out of gravity suit. <laughs> and Tornado, I think, got wave beam at wave gate. <laughs> oh, wow. Now he's gonna attempt to do the charge up here to get water away. Looks good. Just got a spark to the left. There he goes. He's got 4E tanks. Not much to worry about. Gets bombs for his partner. So now... Everyone's got bombs on the right side. And I think we'll see Stump get to that soon enough. Right, decision time for Leno. Um, go check X-Ray first. Yeah, with, with Space Jump and Screw Attack, definitely pretty easy check to do. Um, just kind of Space Jump through the room, and at the end of it, there's a Major. So, not so bad. Don't touch the spikes. Yeah, don't don't take too many spike hits. But we've got gravity suit, which normally would help with damage reduction, but because randomizer, not so much. Yep, you will take full damage from spikes um, if you do not have the various suit in the randomizer. Yeah. One of the the quirks about randomizer versus the vanilla game, and even things that differ between versions of the randomizer, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. The... Keep track of everything anymore. Yeah. Again, no. No big differences. Now Leno actually going down. So, do you think? slow guy turns and goes up red tower here or do you think he's also going to go down i think the gravity suit might draw him down um they can check two items in meridia as vanilla spacer for slow guy at tornado spacer oh Yeah, we'll see if, if it's a crate and then into Meridia play. I, I don't hate it. I like that play too. I don't think it really loses any time. Everything's going in. It's true. Agreeing to join Super Metroid Randomizer League loses time. Who's <laughs> this time? Why did we sign up for this? Because it's fun. I mean, I like this check. It could, it could be something good. See, it's something good. A reserve tank. Yeah, that, so that could good. be Leno's fifth total tank and could give him logical access to Bubble Mountain via Hellrun. Exactly. And he can also check the sand pit, no problem. Yeah. Which this kinda is, looks like that's what he's doing. This is a fairly a ambitious uh, play from Leno. I, I do, you know, not hate it. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm wild about it, but I definitely like see where it comes from. You got gravity suit. You could think that that might be part of the progression chain. And so we'll see. I like it because he has good items for Meridia, i.e. space jump. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's really not that slow. Um, it's a little high for that snail clip. That looks pretty good. See if he can yeah. clip on up. Perfect. And we're in. That's one of those ones that, because it's only two minor items there, um, you really do have to get it quite quickly for it to be worthwhile. So very nice on Leno's part, getting that quick aqueduct snail clip. 
Well, no, it's very much uh, skipping a lot of minors, which is kind of interesting because a lot of these races this week have kind of come down to like, oh no, one of the players doesn't have enough ammo and doesn't have charge. And that's ended up costing people races lately. Ooh, high jump that crate for Tornado. Okay. So now that um, does logically give Lower North for access for player two. So I have a feeling that that's sort of the, the route that we're going to see Stump and Tornado on is the, the old lava dive route. Yeah, I think like generally if this was like randomizer by yourself, um, you might check ice and high jump and then head straight down. Um, Tornado could choose to go ahead and check out all Bubble Mountain first, just because of the density of items. Um, mm -hmm. Just just to make sure his partner has no. things he can do. Yeah, definitely. Right now, <laughs> nice. player one doesn't have speed, doesn't have ice to get through the Botwoon hallway and finish Meridia. Um, doesn't have speed to complete wrecked ship, doesn't have Varia to go into Norfair productively, so... Um, Player two, I think, definitely should be prioritizing trying to find volume of major items per time. So I would e I would even look at potentially Croc before Lower Norfair here. Because you you get to do all of Lower. Oh yeah. Uh. So they got speed from Tornado. So Leno's about to get speed, which is... Oh, no, nope, nope. Stump's going back up. Uh-oh. So Stump, say, that will, where are you going? That will be, <laughs> that will be a finishable uh, Meridia for Leno and Slow Guy. Yeah. Oh, Stump is, is going back down again. So Stump has, down. has a chance to find speed. Oh, Leno going for the two missile setup. Going for the backup. Oh, Crate is is gonna stand up with his jaw only slightly agape. This is kind of a weird Crate. <laughs> it was weird, wasn't it? <laughs> Game's weird. <laughs> when you make it do things it doesn't want to do, it's uh, it's pretty stable, but sometimes it struggles a little bit. <laughs> yeah, there's there's those high jump boots. That speed was pretty lucky for Slow Guy that let him avoid the hell run to Bubble Mountain and just take the passageway. Get Spring Ball for Tornado at the reserve. Yeah, very interesting on Slow Guy to to go in on the hell runs like this on on four tanks and only five power bombs. Doesn't have crystal flash ammo. Kind of a, a an interesting call. I would say an unusual call even. Um, I think the default would be for like upon getting speed to kind of turn around, do Meridia, head up to wrecked ship and and kind of see what you encounter there. Because your partner's still looking for gravity at least, and you're still looking for charge and varia. So you know, the odds that none of those things ends up, you know, somewhere up in that space, kind of slim. That said, if you can avoid those areas, uh, that's going to end up saving a bunch of time because they're not fast spaces to go through. So I don't think um, Stump checked ice. So Leno will not have his speed for a bit. Yeah, Stump has not checked ice yet. So for Leno, I think it's a more interesting call, especially because he did that early Meridia dip. Um, Oh, my my Schadenfreude is is making me, you know, pretty happy overall about this this Leno health situation in those passed up reserve tanks. But really, I, I want to see uh, things work out. <laughs> yeah, where was that gravity suit? Too many screens to watch. Uh, at player one's speed, had player two's gravity. Ooh. So that's like 
go mode for yeah, player two for tornado. Yeah, that's really really good for for player two, and especially after uh, player two's situation in the first match between these teams, that that'll be a welcome find. Everyone gets a gravity suit. Pretty bonkers to, to go in on that hell run like that and then find it. And wow, then immediate oh. various suit at wave. So that's all the suits on the right side. Yeah, so guy just needs charge now to be in go mode. Uh, Leno found his own ice beam, so he's got his budget speed booster from Radia if he wants to go back up. See, I think that the ice beam is the like, don't budget, because it freezes everything in place. It's true, it's like the opposite, but yeah. for Batuan access, it gets the job done. It does. <laughs> And also, there's probably nothing good in Meridia, so don't go, Leno. Don't go. Yeah, we don't we just want to <laughs> stay away from this. And now Leno has his Varia uh, finding things in sequence, going to go over to Bubble Mountain. Find that uh, P2 gravity suit. If Stump goes in on this lava dive, they're they're going to be on a really nice path. Both teams. Um, this is going to be a pretty speedy multi world. It'll be interesting to see how they route their, their minor checks and how they prioritize them against the majors because with this loadout, really all you're looking for is charge and beams. And miners can actually be higher yield in terms of just finding the ammo that you need. So this will be an interesting one to watch. Yeah, uh, well, well, player two does have charge. Um, their only beam is wave beam. Well, nice is gonna do a lot lower DPS than some more supers would do. Yeah. Interestingly, Leno looks like he's he's abandoning Bubble Mountain, not going to do the wave check early, which makes sense from a, a routing perspective and sort of a logistical perspective. It just means that Stump is going to miss out on Gravity Suit for a while. So that, that hell run that we saw Slow Guy do, really making a big difference here. Yeah, and coming in close on that lava dive, gonna take a save here. Um, and also, yeah, so some stuff is gonna be spending time in Lorna for looking for his gravity, mm -hmm. while Tornado's just gonna kinda rush it, I think. Yeah. Stump missing gravity is... The tale of two races now. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Stump. I know. I I feel for him. But the the good news is, like, if something shows up here at GT, you know, if something good's there, like, say, like P1 speed or something, something that could make a difference in in how the seed plays out or a charge beam or something. That's going to make a, a big difference that could be really fortuitous for uh, for team one, or for left team. Yeah, like there's a plasma beam. For there's plasma, that's, that's what I was gonna say. Plasma and space jump are kind of the best you can hope for. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's really quite big. I'm surprised Stump's not keeping that health refill, honestly. I guess doesn't want to charge plasma, fight GT to shine spark out. Well, he has high jump band speed, so he can jump through the door, but maybe he doesn't know the strat. Yeah. Or That's forgot. <laughs> kind of a, a corner case RBO strat that fairly common in randomizers, but definitely not something that everybody knows. Yeah, we see Slow Guy and Thornado definitely doing some, some extra minor checks. Saw some, some PBs of shame there that were super missiles. Whereas Stump and Leno, I think we're going to see them prioritizing these, these major locations and 
That plasma find for Stump is really quite big because it, it really eliminates the need to find any more P2 ammo for, uh, for Green Boomerang Fan Club. Yep, that's correct. Um, the other half of the story here about uh, these races and people not finding charges, it always seems that the ammo that you're scrambling to get at the end belongs to the wrong person. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, Stump is in an interesting spot here, uh, having given up on that E-Tank. Hopefully his screw attack holds up. He's frozen on that screen. <laughs> oh no! Unfroze into the death. Let's see, let's see. Did he say? Yeah, yeah he did. He, did. he <laughs> actually reset to this. So he's going to get his plasma beam over and over again. Um, but this is what I was saying about maybe keeping that E-Tank from, uh, from GT, from the screw attack location, because it's a lot of health. Yeah, and pirates will do 100 damage to you. Just very, uh... Yeah, the the pirates down here, the the key hunters, and the Deskigas all are a hundred a pop with Varia. So lower Norfair, not the kindest. We see Leno with without charge, having to do a little bit of a pre Ridley farm. Forty thirty five though, his ammo is actually looking like it's in pretty good shape. He's probably going to want to be pretty close to full headed into this fight just because it's not going to hurt you to have a little extra ammo on the back side of that fight. Yeah, he's a little slightly better off than Slow Guy in the ammo situation. He also has one more power bomb than Slow Guy. So mm. if Slow Guy doesn't find the ice, he's going to want another one of those. Um, oh, stomp. The mill. I kind of want Stump to go back through the, the green gate and just get that E-Tank. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth it at this point. Um, it would also give him stand-up E-Tank. Uh, need seven for that. That saves like 20 seconds sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, charge wave plasma, it kind of does uh, help. Three really nice Ridley fights. Yeah, we kind of just glossed over it, but yeah. Slow Guy and Tornado are rolling through this lower north fair like it's nothing. Which, with with Varia and Gravity and Screw Attack, and <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> this, this is a pretty good loadout for, for, the, for all these players here. Stump definitely has the the worst end of it here just missing out on the gravity suit, but hopefully he keeps it together here and gets through the, the worst room. If he takes one hit from the key hunter or from a space pirate, he will be able to crystal flash. He does have ammo for that. So I'm almost tempted to like take an intentional hit at the top of the room here. Well, now, now he really hands up. Yeah, now he's a little over. Yeah. Uh, Slow Guy found his own plasma at his fire fleas. Oh, that's... that's really nice. Now Slow Guy, of course, doesn't yet have charge beam. So, stop being sure to screw attack these pirates. Okay, so he now has a hit to give. Oh, wow. Oh, that was close! <laughs> that was pretty scary there. Stump, don't do it! Stop! <laughs> Just trying to give him a little kiss. I I can't handle it. I can't look away. <laughs> Let's see what Stump finds here. I guess what what was player two? Um, we saw it on Tornado's screen. It was Although. An e tank, but I don't know for who. Oh, no, I'm very wrong. It was it's ice an ice beam, <laughs> and we we do know for who. <laughs> Now stand up's even better. Yeah, this is uh, the the full charge ice wave plasma. Um, this isn't dash, so nobody cares about spacer. And 
And Stump is getting ready to use the old uh, the X-ray buffer. I'm gonna here. grab that health drop. Okay, I guess. Right. Yeah. Okay, Stump is gonna <laughs> save. That's good. Meanwhile, order the elephant. It looks like they're ordering the elephant last again. Yeah, I think that's intentional. I, I feel like the order of the elephant is like, please don't kill me immediately. Please kill me last. It, of course, their, their elephant is uh, Thornado's uh, favorite reference to Fantoon. Fantoon is the most powerful boss in the game. So of course we're gonna save him for last. He's very scary. I mean, you're not wrong. He is the spookiest boss. In the early game, he is very difficult most of the time. All the time in early game vanilla. Yeah, although with various suit early for uh, at least P2, that could have been, you know, less bad. But yeah, they, everyone's saving Fantoon for last today. Assuming that Stump's Varia gets found, although... Or, or his gravity, rather, sorry. Although Leno seems to have blown by Wave Beam. I think it's done speed. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I, th I thought it was at Wave, and I was like, it looked like he did that. That seems unlikely for him to have done, but here I am trying to process four screens at once and failing, so there we go. Now we have the, the gravity suit for Stump. He's very orange, but he very has gravity. <laughs> Is he <laughs> He's waiting for it to turn on? Oh, he might be disconnected again. He had some connectivity issues in their first match. So definitely want to be sure that if there's a connectivity thing, that that gets worked out. Sometimes the multi-world servers are a little wonky. Okay, so Leno just got yeah. super missiles for Stump, and we still haven't gotten them, so. Stump is going to have a, a veritable trove of things coming his way as soon as... Uh-oh. Stump. Okay, he's he wants the Crystal Flash. Okay, that's fine. I, I, I thought he, he just wanted out. <laughs> if I can't connect, I'm just gonna die in the acid. So he's got the full beam combo going on, like... Oh, there he goes! There Look we at go. all that! Stump is connected now. Look at all that ammo for the guy who doesn't need it. Amazing. It's just how it goes. how Thor and Slow Guy are kind of following each other throughout this whole race. Like they're holding hands, like real teammates. Yeah, Slow Guy's pretty bold decision to go in on that uh, that early hell run in Upper Norfair really kind of paired them up quite well and gave them a nice route. And it's worked out for a favorite. Those are nice. So, I guess that's one thing in Meridia, those high jump boots. I think the only thing we haven't seen is player two space jump? Maybe the spacer? Yeah, this seed lined up really, really well. If you, you know, just went down Red Tower, everything kind of ends up in path. Yeah, must nice. just be a bunch of E-tanks. Ooh, yeah, Thor got the quick grapple. I like that. That Dragon quick grapple always feels really nice. 
Stump is going to have Plasma Beam as an advantage, uh, which will make a little bit of a difference in the Mother Brain fight, and potentially, depending in the Dragon fight, although having Grapple helps mitigate some of that for, uh, for Order of the Elephant. Yeah, Thor did such a good job with that. Um, but Stump, Stump does love the microwave beam. He always mentions it. So I think it's his favorite thing to do. Alright, so Stump has just used his, his last power bomb here. Um, with screw attack, he, he should be okay. But maybe he chooses to farm a couple power bombs here and fire fleas on his way out. Gravity suit helping mitigate some of that damage. Now he only takes 50 per hit instead of 100. Yeah, definitely a little unfortunate given Stump's health woes early in Lower North Fair. Um, just not doing Bubble Mountain. It makes a lot of sense for, uh, for Green Boomerang Fan Club's perspective, but just didn't work out fortuitously this time around. Oh, hey, uh, Soul Guy has charge. I didn't see where he got that. I think it was in Meridia. But definitely, okay, we'll see if it shows up here at uh, Leno's botch wound. Well, Tour was high jump, and Slow Guy had charge at Dragon, so it must have been in Thor's game. Maybe at Thor's Dragon, perhaps? Tornado's botch wound. Thanks, chat. The wrong bot wound. The oh, wow. other bot wound. Does the other bot wound have a better hitbox? Doubtful. <laughs> Alright, so Stump is now out of Lower Nar for all of our runners. We'll never have to go back there. Unfortunately for uh, the Green Boomerang fan club, Order of the Elephant is, is on their way to assault the elephant. And that is the last of their four bosses. Yeah, literally the only slight hiccup it looks like is Slow Guy's power bomb situation for Torian. Uh, you need at least 12 to kill all the Metroids if you don't have Ice Beam, um, so you want 15 max. Because Metroids, when you kill them with Power Bombs, they only give you one drop as opposed to like the 12 they give you when you kill them with Supers. <laughs> I wish they gave you 12 drops. That, that would it's make, all health. That would make any percent ammo uh, management a little bit better to gamble in Torian, but yeah, only getting one out of the power bombs, pretty rough. Uh, they do have a 12% power bomb drop chance though, so you know, it's I think something like 80% that you can get through with with 10 power bombs. I'm I'm not going to try and do the the conditional probabilities on the fly, but someone in in chat can feel free to fact check me on that. And Thor is gonna go Expector Struts on Fantoon. He's gonna try. There he goes. Nice. Yeah, that's that's a really nice uh, normalized Fantoon setup that Poplars came up with a few years back. That gives a really nice uh, two round, assuming you can get the the eye when it opens the second time. But I, I really like that hybrid X Factor Strat. We'll see if Tornado is able to convert and close it out. Whereas Charge Plasma does a good enough job for Slow Guy and both engines are down. Nice. 
So J down for Lena. Lena was about to head to the wreck ship as well. Stop! Oh. Stop! Probably wants. Maybe he's looking for an E tank. Looks like he's got 33 health, which is not good. Um. No. Stomp has been having some some health issues today. 73 is better, but still not great. Yeah, and he's well. He's gonna be here looking for miners for Leno, and but he's gonna end up finding charge if he just goes a little bit further. Yeah, we see. Leno is making the play over to to plasma now thinking it could be his charge beam, so the slight asymmetry on the left side, as opposed to we saw the runners kind of moving through in sync and just finding everything on the right side. Um, it's just continuing to be a little bit more punishing. I kind of think when you are going into these more multis, you might have to kind of decide ahead of time. Um, whether you're gonna collect ammo or you're actually going to just check every major um, and stick to that and ignore the miners. Yeah, there, there's definitely some meta strats like that. It's, it's very similar to what you would do in a one player major minor focused randomizer, whether you want to commit to hunting down charge beam or whether you don't. And I think there's always kind of an interesting balance about it. I think that multi-world does shift it just a little bit in ways that I don't fully understand. Yeah, I think that kind of situation uh, in single player comes up in the Chozo randomizer a lot, um, which is week three, by the way, so look out for that. Because um, E-tanks and reserve tanks are mixed in with the miners and that logic and... Uh, other reasons as well. Um, I also kind of think like Stump is very much behind in bosses. Like he should just go. You know. Although he, he has to catch up a little. He has a really cool opportunity here to go for like a really bizarre snail clip if he wanted to, <laughs> <laughs> with like half the platform sparked out. But. He's going to continue on through to Botwoon, and we know that that's going to work out. Let's see if Slow Guy gets lucky with PB's room one. No. Yeah, just needs two drops, has nine Metroids to get them from, but only has five remaining. Hmm. Now down to four. So. Yeah. Three metros. If he doesn't get two drops, he'll have to leave and come back. Um, if you leave, um, if you leave Torian, uh, Metroids will still be gone when you come back, as long as you cleared the room. None! No drops! Yeah, but Stump does get Lenefus his charge beam, so that's going to seal the deal and put the Green Boomerang fan club also in go mode. But yeah, the, the Metroids not being kind with the power bomb drops there. Uh, where are the elephants going to be very close to sub 50 in the seed? Yeah, which that's pretty insane for a multi world, but the, the item layout of this one really did just line up pretty darn well. And the way they approached it worked out to be almost perfect for this seed. Yeah, yeah I think very, very nice that actually will. I think Thor will actually sub 50, probably. Um, so guy a little bit behind having to farm. I think um, farming these cargos is okay. Sometimes it works out. Um, easy place is to go up to uh, Beatons at Gauntlet. The thing is, though, you need a power bomb to get there. So. Yeah, so with two power bombs he could get to three, but this will get him to three, so. Oh, he got two two power bomb drops there. Ew. When it rains it pours. Nice. 
And Stump takes care of Dragon, so only two bosses remain, assuming Lenefis gets through his Fantoon okay. There will be just one, and then just Torian, and a reasonable Zeb skip there for Thornado, as Slow Guy inspects the door. The integrity of the door is okay, and he's going to continue his way through Torian. Feel, it always feels bad when Fantoon has one missile left to go when you're killing him with ammo, but even more so when you're killing him with microwave. Just 100 HP left. I know. It's it's like uh, I could have just buffered one more x-ray pause, but instead I get to wait for an invisible cycle. <laughs> Just stabbing supers in another brain. Doesn't really need to worry about getting hit by the ketchup. Uh, all is well. Gonna damage down the three tanks, and Thor's ready to go. Yep. No, uh, no stand up for either of our players in Order of the Elephant, both having six energy tanks. Lenefus will have that option with his Charge Ice Plasma, or if he's feeling spicy, Charge Ice Spazer. That would be spicy. Wouldn't it though? Yeah, you need seven E tanks to do stand up. The preserve tanks will not help you. Yeah, they'll help you not die to the hyper beam, but they won't help you trigger whatever weird thing it is that lets you stand up. <laughs> <laughs> stand up's weird. That's really the, the moral of the story. So maybe it's better that our runners can't go for it. Stand-up so seldom actually makes a difference in races. It definitely has happened, but more often than not, um, winning and losing is by more than a stand-up margin, and there there is risk with it. So I know there's a lot of runners who, who won't even go for it if they do have the loadout. Well, it looks like we might be getting a, a speed Zeb skip attempt here from Slow Guy as Tornado heads into Mother Brain 3. Yeah, reasonable, um, if you can do it, reasonable to go for it once, um, and then just go ahead and use your ammo. Uh, no danger here. Yeah, with that charge beam, that helps uh, alleviate the need for hitting a trick like that. And so it's pretty reasonable to give it a shot. If you miss it, you know, it would have saved some time, but it's not a big time loss relative to what you would have done if you hadn't gone for it. So you see. Neither of our runners on the left side are going to have to power bomb their Metroids, so Leno gets to use that ice beam. Unfortunately, it's not going to be quite enough. But oh, Stump needs to watch his health a little bit here. No, oh, yeah, he, he can only take no more hits. It's yeah, zero, only zero no more. Stump! Oh, oh my gosh, gosh that wow. was so close! Oh my gosh! That was Stump. exceptionally close. <laughs> Stump, dude! Don't do this! Stump is living on the edge today. <laughs> oh my god. I I feel bad for Order of the Elephant here that I, I feel like I've just been like locked in on Stump's screen, but Stump has just been narrowly avoiding disaster. <laughs> Oh, already have to climb in the escape. Yeah. Okay, I was hearing the, the health alarm. I was like, who else is dying? It's just Leto damaging down at the baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this will be that sub-50. This is actually a nice low 49. It's a pretty insane multi-world time, honestly. Yeah, very nice. So, GG to Tornado. 
an official time of 49 minutes 13 seconds so gg to him we will of course have to wait for slow guy to finish to get the team time uh the finishing time for a team is determined by its slowest finisher and so even if Thornado finished first, Leno and Stump finished, and then Slow Guy finished last, uh, Leno and Stump would win. Uh, a little bit different for the uh, multi-world than for the co-op modes, where we'll be using average time for this league. But not likely to make a difference with how things are looking right now. Looks like uh, Slow Guy is through the worst of it and should have things pretty well in hand. The winner is tentative. Um, slow guy needs to finish faster than Stump can finish. Stump being risky with the Shine Spark as well. Good thing Shine Sparking will. It'll stop your Shine Spark at 29 health. Automatically. Don't have to worry. Stump again doing, doing the low health thing. Also the low ammo thing. So. I kind of wanted to take a ship refill, but I also kind of don't, so... He's not! I love it! Ah. I, I, I'm in favor of this choice. Yeah, I, take, I am take too. Take it's like, I'm in favor. <laughs> this is perfect. Okay, Mother Brain 3, down for Slow Guy. Coming in hot, probably gonna be 52, which is also an excellent time. This will probably be the lowest time for a week so far. Yeah, I don't think we've seen a, a team finish this low, so the seed worked out, the route worked out, and they're, they're going to end up with a really nice time, and they're going to, uh, assuming nothing weird happens, be 2-0 uh, into week two. So it's a, a great start to the league for Order of the Elephant. Slow guy, clearly too powerful. Metro is not being very nice to stump. Uh, he's got four supers now instead of two. But he's down a lot of missiles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is an interesting situation. Now zero super missiles, and uh, what looks like 19 missiles? It definitely looks like zero, but I think it was eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> now it's nine. <laughs> okay, that, that's a better number. Yeah, now it's 10. I, I looked at it go to nine, and I thought, that was a heck of a lot of drops from that Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, I told you 12, it's 12. Yeah, they give you 12 drops every time. <laughs> All right, the flow guy it makes it to the ship finishes with an official time of 52 minutes 27 seconds and that will be the order of the elephants team time and they will win this race gg to them GG. Stump is taking advantage of that low health to damage himself down on the side hopper <laughs> and get a quick baby cut scene here. He thrives with this health. We'll, we'll see him have to take a health refill because he won't have enough ammo to to get away with the crystal flash here. Or no, no, could he? Yeah, one in 20 is not going to do it. Yeah, so he can't, he unfortunately cannot crystal flash or he will. No, no, he could break the glass and refill missiles. He cannot soft lock here. As long as he knows That's what he's true. doing, it's impossible for him to ruin his file. <laughs> well, if he breaks the glass, he won't have enough missiles. To, he won't ever have enough missiles because he only has max 35. Yeah, you, you can fully wait, break yeah, the 30. Glass. Yeah. Yeah, so 30. Yeah, he would. He'd be fine. That's yeah. crazy. Now he's down to zero again. That was a really powerful super missile. Apparently, it's eight.
Looks a lot like a zero for me. Stumble only took the health refill because he has to, because the game makes you have at least 300 energy. Til Tillamorph is backing me up. Tillamorph, the uh, third member of our 2 0 Order of the Elephant, did, uh, did the first race for the team in uh, the P2 spot. Mm -hmm. So I had to do that Suitless Meridia. I think Tillamorph was in the P2 spot, if I remember right. Tillamorph did Suitless Meridia, but he wasn't P2, he was P1. Slow guy had to do it oh. last time. Shucks. Okay. Shucks. Shucks indeed. All right. Leno almost through the parlor. Let's see if he can make it all the way of the ship, abandoning the animals as is proper. Making to the ship, finishing with another good time, uh, 55 minutes and 20 seconds. That's how it's gonna go in the books. And Stump is, is looking to wrap this up in under an hour total for, for both of our teams. So really excellent from, from both of our teams, especially given some of the, the little setbacks. Uh, I'm sorry, but these multi-world credits are just bananas. Like, I... Don't you hate when your progression energy tank is at plasma? Like, how, how is it a progression energy tank? Get out of here. No. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I... I have your back on this one, PPD. I... I agree 100%. Like, looking at the spoiler logs and things that these can generate if you're not doing them in, like, race mode, sometimes it's pretty ludicrous. What a one, except I was missing my Sphere 22 E-Tank. Shucks. Although, Ludicrous, not a member of this team, Ludicrous is the third member of uh, the Cooked Aussies in one of our other oh. divisions this our season, so... Our friends are here, we need to move them. Oh gosh, yeah, get them in. Welcome Hello. to our friends. Sorry we didn't, we didn't see you there. Welcome. GG's tornado, so guy, how's it going? Thank you, thank you. Good. GG's, thank you. So you guys just took that seed and ate it for yeah. breakfast. <laughs> Throw yeah. the sub-50 and slow guy with a 52. Yeah, I uh, forgot I didn't have enough power bombs. That was something. Yeah, that was yeah. your only hiccup. Well, yeah, you had enough. You just didn't yeah. Have enough. <laughs> you know, took a little bit of extra effort, but there was enough there. Yeah, we just kind of ran into everything, so. Yeah. yeah the big decision, at least as far as I could identify it, was slow guy choosing to go in on that upper norfair hell run early as definitely to taking gravity and going back and looking into meridia which is what we saw uh Lenefis do in the the player one situation on the the green boomerang fan club side of things so you want to walk us through the decision to go into upper norfair with the, the four tank hell run without a crystal flash i knew that three tank was supposedly in logic and so I, I still wasn't going to go with three tanks because I didn't feel comfortable. I was going to go to Meridia, and I think I think it was High Jump Boots had the fourth E tank. And I just thought, well, I'll go, you know, I'll save, I'll save Scum Upper Norfair. Hopefully, it'll all be for Thor, or I'll get, you know, Varia, mm. you know. And then, so I almost did go. I would have gone to Meridia if it wasn't for that one more E tank, which sent me. I was like, all right, I can do four. Not a problem. Like, I was confident enough. I didn't even save in Bubble Mountain. I, I was fine with it. Yeah, that ended up netting, of course, the uh, the Player 2 gravity suit at speed. Um, and that really was kind of the big difference. Uh, we saw Stump do his lower Norfair uh, because Leno got, um, in, in Slow Guy's position, got his Varia suit and then took Varia plus Gravity to lower Norfair. And that just ended up, um, you know, not getting Stump his Gravity suit for a long, long time until post lower Norfair and Stump had uh, you know, 
100 damage a hit instead of 50 damage a hit situations. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going yeah. Ridley for stuff. Saving the Ridleys, apparently. Yeah, so uh, Animal Surprise is turned on. Uh, so you go to visit the animals and you get something. You get something exciting. And this is this is certainly exciting, a Hyper Beam Ridley fight. <laughs> I, uh, I approve. How do you resist? Honestly, you know it's a surprise. It's a mystery. Yeah. How did you guys resist the urge to go to the animals? I'm so glad Stump went. I'm so glad. Yeah, I, I hope that it becomes like sort of expected for for fourth player to go visit the animals or, or at least right? have to know third player or the the lead of of one of the teams if the players are separated like animal surprise is great oh i love it every time i do a casual multi mm -hmm. i do animal surprise absolutely all right like, leno has joined us sorry pvp go ahead oh let's say uh, Stump is finished with an official time of 1 hour and 30 seconds. The Ridley fight 2.0, taking him over the hour mark is still a great time. <laughs> GG Stump. Still an honorable thing to do, checking those animals and getting that bonus Ridley fight. So yeah, GG's to Stump and Leno, who have also now joined us. Hello. And we meet again for the first time, for the last time. Or I mean, hi. <laughs> <laughs> GG, guys. GG's. Oh, it was a fun seed at least. Pretty quick. That was a that was a jet seed. I have I have not seen a jet seed that quick for multi world in quite a while. <laughs> yeah. That was a fun seed. Yeah, it's yeah. rare that both players' everything's end up on the route that you want to take. Yet here we are. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, really not not too much to trick up there. No, like, crazy... Like, we, we did a practice last night, and I had my gravity suit at Spring Ball, so... No, I had no. to just, <laughs> just do all of <laughs> Meridia suitless. So nothing crazy like that today, thankfully. Yeah, we've, we've seen a few seeds that have, have had some crazier stuff in them, but this one definitely wasn't one of them. Um, like I said, really, the, the big difference since both teams kind of went through Bryn Loop, then down Red Tower to Crade to Upper and Lower Norfair, and then back up, the, the everyone was on that uh, KRDP boss order. Mm -hmm. Really, the big difference was Slow Guy going in and finding gravity in that, in that hell run for player two versus Leno finding Stump's gravity after having done Lower Norfair. Oh, okay. Yeah, because he picked up my, uh, yeah, he picked up my Varya suit and I just dove Lower Norfair right away. Yeah, which made a ton of sense with <clears throat> what, what you had as a loadout and what you had seen. Um, mm -hmm. Slow Guy decided ahead of his gravity to just go on into Upper Norfair and uh, happened to find player two gravity at uh, at speed, and so that that really kind of changed the texture of how things played out. Yeah, I didn't have Varia when I went through there, so I was just I was intending to save Scum probably and hopefully get something for Thor, and then it just all worked out because before I left, I got my Varia suit. Exactly. Whereas if you got your Varia sort of in the situation Leno did after having done Front of Meridia, it, it makes a ton of sense to just go right to Lower Norfair as. The next area you can check where you could just incidentally get all of the good things yeah absolutely so it was really interesting how that was kind of what what shaped how everything played out yeah i'm a i'm a big fan of going down in these multis uh, because the hell runs are in logic and there's just mm -hmm. so many checks to make you know yeah, Upper Norfer has something like seven major items or something. It's it's a yeah lot. with Croc, it's a lot. There is a ton of equity in that part of the map. Plus, Lower Norfer has another three. So, if you can get through all of them or even most of them, there's a ton to find. Yeah, I was gonna do I was gonna do Bubble Mountain, and I probably wasn't gonna do Croc. If I didn't find anything there, I was gonna go straight Meridia. But never got to. Yeah do that plan at all so. 
Hmm. Yeah, we saw Leno uh, go into Mama Turtle in the sand pit for, I think it was a reserve tank that he chose to not collect. And, <laughs> and, in, and, an, and an energy tank. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Which you did collect. You you did the, the nice little shoulder nudge. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Love that tech. Nice. It's the wiggle. The wiggle is always a good thing. Doesn't even matter what game it is. If it's got a wiggle, it's good. Unless it's Batwoon. That then is bad. <laughs> it boxes bad enough. No wiggles. Yeah, so, uh, I guess Order of the Elephant. Y'all have gotten through week one, two, and oh. Uh, let me look at the schedule here. Who do you have next week? Oh god, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm struggling. Order of the Elephant has Croc Alvin. Great name. So that is. Oh gosh, the the uh, team of Bonus Glove and Mock Troid for for Dash Rando. Oh wow, nice. How, how do you how do you feel about that that pending matchup? Uh, I, I I know I know all those runners. They're excellent. Yeah, runners. yeah. If I recognize uh, all the names, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tough for sure. But uh, Dash Rando's really weird. So who knows what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen is we're all going to blame Kip. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <just> blame Kip. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Kip is pretty sus, so you should probably vote him out. <laughs> Just oh, get him out of the ship. <laughs> it, it is almost Saturday. <laughs> no, it yeah. is Saturday. It is Saturday now. Yes, from where you live. Saturday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, Green Boomerang Fan Club, Leno and Stump. Are, are you going to let MST off the uh, off the bench next week to, to fight the Cat <laughs> well, Jammers? <laughs> well, uh, funny story behind that uh mst had a well-documented history of multi-world just not working so stump and i just basically agreed that we were going to take the first two uh for this one but then his multi-world issues magically got fixed um missing file okay who knew and yeah he actually could have raced one of these two and yeah but we just decided to stick with the plan and you said dash rando was next week yeah dash rando and you've got the the cat yep. jammers coming up. That's the team of Mr. Guy Average, Saffron, and Stachio Cat. Your innovation is good just team. stacked. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. Ancient Chozo is a scary division. Like every a, team in that division is really solid. Yeah, I feel bad for you guys, man. <laughs> and, and then you've got the the really solid plus plus good boys. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we go the good, good boys the week after. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. quite the gauntlet. Hey. I'll just, uh, I'll just pretend you guys put us in this division because we're that good. You know, <laughs> so I hear these names and I'm like, oh god. <laughs> See, we have a really good strength of schedule, so even though we're losing, we're like really strong opponents. Nobody stands a chance against us against yeah. any other division. Yeah, flex. <laughs> 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 Put them in the playoffs now. Right? Yep. <laughs> it's only fair. Yeah, the, uh, so, uh, the league is full of really good teams, so, you know. The community is full of good runners, so <laughs> that's, that's that fair. Happens. Sorry, PVV, what were you going to say there? I do not remember. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's better uh, that way. I don't know. It might be, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just doing our best. Doing my best. best. That that was a very enjoyable race. So thank you for for the race, all, all four of you. I guess uh, Leno and Stump. Do y'all have any any thoughts before we uh, shut things down for the night? Uh, about the seed. Uh, not really. We did have a random disconnect, but that was definitely because of my internet. I uh, had a little connectivity issue there, but yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah, the, the stream held up 
Okay, so that yeah. that was good, but yeah, yeah it, did, it did look like Stump got to camp outside of Ridley for a minute, waiting for for his yeah Ridley. yeah. It it was nothing like a couple days ago where both our uh, both of our teams just couldn't receive items for a few minutes. That oh my gosh. that was a little interesting. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Just gonna mention the rest of the day, technically today, so Saturday, we have a bajillion races going on all day long. I think I can Actual bajillion. Yeah. Ten more. Yep. Starting at 10 a.m. Um, we're gonna have two races going on. Hopefully both will get a restream, but one definitely will on uh, gaming. Well, I will. Uh, I will ease your fears. Every single race set for Saturday has a restream set already. I, I checked the schedule. Uh, yeah. Speed gaming is loaded for Saturday. Everyone, just yeah, just camp out. Speed gaming Saturday. You're gonna enjoy a lot of good races. And then buy an extra monitor and put speed gaming two on it, because <laughs> there's it's like all day long speed gaming and speed gaming two super metroid randomizer. It's really a good lineup. watch at two o'clock though don't watch that race there, there, there's a there's a good one at three so you know we can just punt on the the 2 p.m now actually i'm, I'm really excited to watch nobly and grithel play the the noble yeah. foxes i i think they're they're an exciting team i, I haven't seen them play they're going to be playing against this uh shack tools digging game team i think uh i have to race Never them in, in week two some some polar bear bunny and Azdur gonna be running that one. <laughs> Sounds like a bunch of nerds. But yeah, all day long, 10 a.m. Be here because I said so all the way through until 11 p.m. <laughs> so yeah, I hope to see you all back tomorrow or today, later today. But get some sleep. 10, 11, 30, noon, 2, 3, 6, 6, 9, 11. <laughs> it's a lot of Super Metroid randomizer. So yeah, I I don't know. Some of those might even be back to backs. There there might be even even more uh, secret games in there. So yeah, tomorrow pretty loaded, and then Sunday is the conclusion of week one. But I'm sure that we'll be going over that toward the end of tomorrow. For now, just get excited for Saturday. That's a good enough slate. <laughs> So, slow guy and tornado. Any anything else that you guys wanted to say? No, just thank you guys for volunteering your time and effort and making all this uh, such a good experience for everyone. And GG to Leno and Stump. GG no, guys. Same GGs and thank you everyone uh, who put together the restream. I know it's actually a lot of work, and everyone for watching. GG's to all four of our runners. If you have not yet, please go give them a follow. Support them, support their channels, support their efforts in Super Metroid Randomizer and a bunch of other games as well. Uh, that's Lenefis, Stump, Slow Guy, and Thornado. Also, follow their teammates, Telemorph and Shy Guy uh, at Metroid MST. Uh, g give them all follows. <laughs> all, all great. Uh, Super Metroid and and sometimes other content streamers. Awesome. And uh, yeah, big big thanks to Polar Bear Bunny for letting me join her on commentary. PBB, I'll I'll let you uh, sign us off. Just two people we can't forget. Well, our wonderful trackers tonight, Tracy M as Cupula. Thank you so much for helping out with that, and thank you, Maniacal, and thank you, Chat. Everybody have a great day. See you tomorrow at 